Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching Supergirl Season 5, Episode 15, Reality Bites, as in Computer Bites. I am very excited to watch this episode. Um, I think I saw it was a Nia one, um, I don't really know too much about it other than that. And yes, I'm very excited, so yeah, let's go. Have I somehow accidentally clicked onto a Christmas movie? Sinister man watching you. Whoa. He's got stuck in, in the simulation. simulation. He was... Watching his ex be happy or something? Be out of vibes to get stuck. Review from here, Miss Olsen. Oh dear. Enough time. It must be really hard to get car insurance in National City. You deserve better, Nia. I know Brainy is doing it for the right reasons, but I'd like to think that the DEO misses me. <laughs> Sisters. Sweet little Nia. You There's nothing wrong with spending your nights in. The word loser. Nothing wrong with being a loser who spends the nights inside. So on the but if Nia used to go out, she should go out. Move. Do you hang out with your BFF dreamer? Right now? Me. Wait, you haven't met him yet? Well, not oh. physically, but emotionally, it's like we've been together forever. Dear, I worry about that. She also has not gone for the blue. Blue, always go with the blue, you know this. Hi, guys. It's gonna be amazing. Or terrible. <laughs> Get her as luck. Oh. Uh. I would actually much rather be with Connor and William. Plodding was fun for like three months at uni. <laughs> oh dear. Minutes. Don't leave her alone. He wants me to meet him outside. Excuse me. Don't go outside by yourself. Wait for Nia. See either that guy's gonna follow you because he's secretly Angus, or yes. Angus is a bag. I'm just very stressed. This should never happen at the beginning of a TV show. Don't meet guys in weird alleys. Her time of day is on a yacht. Oh dear, who is this guy? Sunset. Nia, run, run, run. You should not have left your friend even though you're having a weird vision. Are you okay? Oh my god. Your boyfriend did this to you? Only oh, pretended to like me. Crawl back under the rock you came from. Came from, or I'll keep attacking people. We like are gonna you. destroy this guy. Make him pay. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's him. He'd be on Club CCTV too, you. wouldn't he? Now, we're still going over security footage and questioning okay. other patrons, but... Uh, Thanks. It's horrible yeah. how realistic this is. Yeah. You know, you want this to be yeah. a terrible... Yeah. Terrible okay. alternate universe, yet it's this the crappy one we live in. Not just hurt and humiliated, she's heartbroken. It's not something Kara can relate to. She thought this guy really liked her. And he was just targeting her because she was trans. He was trying to use her to get to do her. Going after my community to bully me into it. Listen to me, Nia. Listen, we will find this guy. Yeah, we will. And when we do, I'll bury him. Yeah. Look, I... I, I mean... <laughs> I know this is a personal I'm attack, all for burying him, you, but you know, you we, we to need to like... We find this, guy to this happens more than you could possibly know. And there are guys just it's like this joke it's so out true. there who want... They want us to hide and to be afraid to be who we are. They want us to disappear and it happens every <sighs> day. I know and I, I will never fully... I mean, I want to destroy him as well, but we can't kill him. Between us and... Okay, Alexander. Is there any kind of like instruction <laughs> for this? Not like Trevor at all. Like, if it was a weekend, else, it was a weekend experience. Like they should investigate for sure. Because he got trapped without an escape button. Because they didn't fix it. How did they get a camera angle like that? Inside Obsidian Platinum, there are no rules. But there should be rules. Because if you can feel things, you could hurt and attack people. Get the hang there of should it, be promise. rules. No rules is a dangerous concept. Just remember. Yeah, I do. I the Doctor version. Superhero version. Did you find virtual life? The Vegas? parent version, that needs to be her real life. Uh, yeah. What are NPCs? Non player oh, characters. Oh god. Rick Malvern tried to drown me. Oh god, is it? It's Lloyd's name named after their her own personal fears. It feels real. This is why we have dangerous a technology. It's encoded with a virus. It's horrible because of how real this is. Like, this is such an important episode and issue to raise. But it also must have been so horrible to film and, like, tap into those emotions and. Everything in my power to catch you. You better come and get me, sweetheart. Sorry, her ex. Could he? Yes, 
your car and husband. Then what was that vision he was seeing? Jennifer, I'm in right now Trevor is trapped in a high level. Oh, it's Trevor. Experience by a is she having an affair with Trevor? Possibly being VR. Like a oh, they're having no, a VR affair. I have met him yeah. in real life. It's just... And that's what he saw. Okay, it makes sense. Does your husband very slow. know about this? Bend it to your will, not his. Mm -hmm. Howie. Oh dear. Can you hear me? So they've got like a matching color palette thing going on. This is the brainy we like. Mine. Covering for you. Of course. Cool not of their relationship. Please make it stop. Okay, I don't, I don't understand. Stop. Exploded when I'm putting back together again. Oh dear. And simulation. Okay, it worked for Alex. To you people. You stand up by hiding behind a fake name online. I hate this so much. It's so uncomfortable. People? Oh fuck off. It worked. Because then. people like this are real. Wreck him. I mean, don't kill him, but make him suffer. I'm not so brave now, I'm like a little man. You make me sick. No, you make me, me too. sick, you twisted freak. He's the twisted freak here. Yeah. You Your fragile ego was just shattered. Your sense of self is... Don't let him turn you into something you're not. Exactly. Why should he get We all want to just destroy you people like that. a piece of his darkness and carry it with you for That is so true. When you put that suit on, you became a symbol. You give people hope. Don't let them down by stooping to his level. You've caught him. You've Please shown him these pathetic little him in insect. And make sure he faces justice. You can't promise that'll happen. No, I can't. And I understand. You feel like you're the only one protecting your community, but you're not alone. I'm not alone. You have me. And Alex and John and, and yes, even Brainy, in his heart of hearts, and maybe we all should have opened our eyes to the realities that you and your community face every day, but now we have. And now we will all have our eyes open for people like him. I'm proud of you, Nia. Nia? You didn't, sweetheart. <laughs> I still kind of want to. I know. I don't want to be a killer, but you're not my love. God, I'm not okay. I am so overwhelmed. And this guy just triggered everything. I couldn't save you that just like I couldn't save my mom. I couldn't oh. stop that guy in my and the one person yeah. he's a I don't even know stupid brat that's I why for you. you've got a car and you've always got a car by your side the one thing it felt like I had left you've got your friends my love at least but I wasn't looking at things through your eyes and your experiences and I'm so sorry such one and I friend. know, I know, sometimes being the good guy sucks. Yeah. Especially when you know how easy it would be to just get rid of someone so vile and full of hate. Yeah. But hey, not doing that, that is what makes us different from them. Yeah. That's what lets us keep protecting people, and your community needs you. They need you. And I'm so sorry. I didn't know how much pain you were in. You've always got Clara. Um, <laughs> I need a moment. Right now, the questions about ethics and morality in the virtual Yeah, you were like, no rules, Alex, have fun. I feel so guilty. Oh, and you are full. Angry that. Whatever have a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to prison for a long time. And all social media accounts. Eva, hey, you can't do that. I have had it with putting myself out there, making myself an easy target. I'm done. He was just one bad person. You can tell yourself that, Nia. 
like I did. There are more good people out there, but the la horrible that. people are the loudest. I wanted that to be true. It will be. You will find that kind of love, Yvette, but not if you shut down. They want us to be invisible because of their own fears. They want to erase us, so we need to shine even better. <laughs> Yeah. You are a beautiful woman. With a beautiful life. And sharing that life is what will change this world. I have to believe that the future is going to be better than all oh, the crap we live in now. Hey. You need to be nice to it and practice it. Mom, hey. What's wrong? They found Dad. Jeremiah? He's dead. I'm sorry. I'm Bloody I'm Leviathan. Bates. What are they doing? Poor Alex. And poor Cara. Before I get into the absolute nitty gritty of this heartbreaking, beautiful episode, I just want to have a little celebration because there was no Lena or Lex in that entire episode. It was just, I literally, only towards the end, I was like, I have just been fully invested in every single plot in this episode. I wonder, that is why. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna save Nia to talk about last um, because there's a lot to get into and unpack there. Um, Leviathan, obviously still up to shifty things in the background. Um, there's Obsidian North, you know, it's a wonderful idea in concept, but in reality, there are so many things you'd need to fine tune. And Andrea is so focused on making money and like her company being glory, you know, getting glory for the company that she's just jumping through all the hoops and being pushed by Leviathan because they've got some kind of nefarious scheme. And I still reckon it's gonna end up that Lena's brainwashing technique's gonna help cancel out theirs or something pathetic like that. But, um, you know, Leviathan's still going for it. Kelly is very aware of problems and is concerned about them, which hopefully means that she's going to be on the lookout for things and that can help our team catch them and stop them. Kara and William are still very cute. Um, they don't get the same screen time that Kara and Monel used to get, and I hope that isn't because of all the haters on Monel and their relationship, because when Kara is in a relationship, even if it's not the one we'd all like her to be in, which is Kara and Monel, you... I still need to see Kara's life getting a lot of screen time. Obviously this was Nia's episode and we also had the subplot which was to do with a kind of long ongoing thing. So I'm not necessarily saying that we should have taken out any of that, but I'm also just saying that for the going forward, if William is going to be a serious contender here and stick around for Kara, I'm going to need him to get more screen time with Kara. Um, but I'm enjoying them so far. I will continue my conspiracy theory that he is evil, but that is literally just something that I do for fun because after, I mean, so many things are different after Crisis, I'm not certain of anyone that wasn't one of the heroes fighting in Crisis, especially someone that's newly in the show. Um, obviously it's quite scary to think of all the ways that Obsidian North's platform technology could be used, but hopefully they're going to work on fixing that. Now Brainy, I hate this plotline because I do like Brainy, you know, he's... <laughs> Of the characters that could have gone to the future and the one that didn't, I was seriously just like Brony, but I like him, he's grown on me, he especially like, he got a bit less ridiculous, which I liked, um, and I really was enjoying his relationship with Nia, there were certain bits of it that were a bit much, but on the whole I liked it, and I'm really not enjoying this just kind of him being a really gloomy double agent for Lex, because I don't care about it, and I'm glad that he was there for Nia in terms of finding the information and like passing on to that cop um, all of the back so that he can kind of protect her community. So he's kind of being there for Nia without actually being there for Nia. And I hate that because we saw at the end of the episode and throughout the episode how much Nia needed to have people there for her. And okay, yeah, she had Kara. And she, you know, Kara's one of her best friends, if not her best friend. You know, she had Kara who I hope she now knows she can go to about anything like that she's feeling. And even if Kara can't completely understand and she will do her best to and she will be there for her but she needed Brainy too and the reason he wasn't there wasn't because he couldn't be but was because he's decided to go on some stupid mission for Lex so oh, I'm not here for that um but yes we didn't have to worry about Lex holding in this episode so I'm just gonna have a little party about that in a minute but I oh I knew this was a near episode and I had a feeling that I'd seen something because I try not to like up other than the hundredth episode to check on what Monel, I try to avoid spoilers for shows I haven't seen yet, but I do follow some of the cast and I try and scroll past them, but I feel like I'd seen something about it being an important episode and one that 
the actress who plays Nia, oh my god, is it Nicole Maines? My name, literally she has escaped my, her name has escaped my brain, um, saying it was a very important episode. So I had a feeling it might be touching on some of the kind of issues that the trans community face. And I know that at the moment in the UK, there's this real problem online. I mean, not that there, I mean, there always has been, unfortunately, but there's this is real, even right now in the COVID-19 crisis, there are people who are going online to hurl trans abuse at people and to claim that people that like support trans people are horrible people. Like, I have zero tolerance for any kind of ignorance like that. Homophobic, transphobic, racist, fuck off my channel. Like, it really upsets me to think of anyone being treated differently because of who they are and the idea that anyone can't be who they are or is scared or has to hide. I mean, I am very privileged in that I am a straight white girl. You know, my only great struggle that I face is, I guess, sexism, but even then, I'm a straight, white, cis girl, you know, I'm lucky that I was privileged like that, and, you know, I know it sounds strange to say when you are cis and straight, I guess, but I've always known I was a girl, I was the girliest in my head, all my favourite characters, I used to love the Rugrats, and Lil was my favourite because she was a girl, literally any girl, and any, I knew I was a girl, and that's who I am, and if I'd been born into a body that was assigned male, that wouldn't have changed that. And just the thought that it has to be such a fight for people to be who they are and to be accepted makes me sick and it makes me upset. And I know that I am not an informed voice to talk about this, so I'm not going to kind of go into a big rant about it because obviously it's not my experience. But I just really, really upsets me that there is so much suffering out there in the world and so much hatred that it's just based on ignorance. And I just despair I really need this to be something that you know when I watch this show with my kids hypothetically in the future they can't believe that there would ever have been trans hate um or you know just it's just <sighs> other people the way they live their lives does not affect you nobody's saying you have to go and get a sex change you know anything you have to change your gender because it's not even changing your gender, it's changing your appearance of your gender, it's changing the gender everyone else thinks. I just... Oh, I, Supergirl has always been a show that has been unashamed to tackle political topics, to tackle... I mean, not that that should be a political topic, but you know what I mean. To tackle sort of hard-hitting topics that are very controversial, especially in America. Um, and I'm proud of that. And, you know, I'm proud that they cast a trans woman to play a trans woman. I'm proud of the show that they have not shun away from showing just, you know, the struggles she faces and yet yeah, what a powerful woman she is. And, you know, I absolutely adore Nia. She's a brilliant addition to this show. She's the kind of best friend Clara needs. Um, but this episode was so important, but I just, oh, it really got me. And I think it was knowing how real it is and also kind of how real those emotions would have been for the actresses that, it has really got me. Um, I just can't bear the world we live in sometimes. It is a shitty place. And I'm with Nia, you know, you just want to take all of the ignorant little specks of dirt that exist and shove them in a hole and cover it up and cement over the top of it and then set it on fire. I don't know. You just, I want to like take all of the stupid ignorant pieces of shit, dump them on an island, keep all their kids so they can't brainwash them. <laughs> Obviously, I don't actually want to do that. That would be quite inhumane. But, you know, it's just... Ugh, it's just really upsetting. And so I'm really thankful to this show that they got to portray that in a way. And, you know, I think it was done well. I love Kara. I love how they wrote Kara and this acted. It was, you know, Kara wasn't trying to be kind of... Well, no, no, I'll deal with the situation because I'm super gone. But like, you know, she wasn't trying to be like, oh, I understand what's to be better about this new... I'm no more. She was understanding and she was kind of like trying to obviously stop me at killing him because uh, that woman has discovered you, killing people is not something that you ever really want to do even if you are feeling that furious rage and if you're a good guy it's not something you want to do but that feeling of wanting to just destroy them I mean I feel that um, I think I, I wouldn't ever be able to actually kill someone if they were in front of me but you know and especially, especially given how often hate crimes don't face justice and um, people get away with it they just, especially I think against the trans community, unfortunately. I think I really appreciated that Kara tried her best, that Kara didn't immediately know exactly what to say, that Kara wanted to instantly 
jump in and make everything better for Nia, but she didn't know how to because as someone that hasn't had those experiences, it's so hard to. I mean, you can try and think of a similar experience, I guess in Kara's case it would be xenophobia against aliens that she's experienced, but even that is different to what Nia's experienced. You know, it kind of everyone's experiences are different. So I love that their scene at the end was really important and Kara kind of acknowledging that as much as she can, she understands and that you know, she's always there for Nia and that she's sorry she hadn't realised that the problem was as all bad as it was and that Nia was hurting as much as she was. And I really hope that that's going to mean that Nia's screen time is going to go up and that she and Kara can just be best friends and just be there for each other because they have a really beautiful friendship and Nia really needs that right now. Obviously she's got her friends and, you know, quite rare for TV characters is she has friends from within the com her community, but she has friends from outside of our sphere. It's not like she dropped into National City or into Catco and didn't know anyone else in the world. She's got friends, which I like, but this episode was, it was a lot. Um, and I don't know, I feel like this has been a real mess of a review at the end, but I'm just feeling really emotional. So there, that was a brilliant episode. Um, very hard hitting. Please be kind to each other and look out for each other. And if you see hate going on, don't be silent. Stand up and say that is not right and be there for people. And just be kind. So yeah, thank you for watching.